Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Dr. Jason Smith and today I'm excited to show you some of the research I found that can help you boost your immune system function and give you the resilience you need to overcome infection and heal from injury. You're going to be glad you watched this video today. Over the past decade I've literally spent thousands of hours studying the brain and hundreds of hours studying the immune system. But never in over 21 years of taking care of patients have I seen more of an interest in immune function than I have in the past two and a half months. It seems like everyone is interested in the immune function and how to improve it. Now, I want to make sure we're on the same page when we talk about the immune system. Although immunology is complex and there are still many things we don't know, I want you to at least understand the basics. So here's a question for you. What are the two main functions of the immune system? The first function is to fight infection and the second main function of the immune system is to heal damaged tissue. When do we get damaged tissue? Well, pretty much every single day at home and work. We have repetitive trauma to our skin, our muscles, and our joints. And if you have sports injuries, auto injuries, or brain injuries, it's even more critical that you have increased function and the ability to heal that tissue. So here's another question. What is the single most important thing you can do to support healthy immune function? Say you had a really important event coming up and you needed to be there, but there were several people around you, maybe at home or at work, who were sick and you didn't want to catch it. What would you do? Well, some of you might immediately say, well, I'd take vitamin C or zinc and herbs like echinacea and powder arco, maybe eat more garlic. Well, we all know that we should eat more fruits and vegetables, eat more healthy fats, stay hydrated, avoid smoking, eat less sugar, and minimize negative stress in our life. And what about getting some healthy exercise every day? And of course, maintaining a healthy weight. And don't forget all the benefits of meditation and positive mental attitude. These are all great things to do. And if you Google, what is the best way to support your immune system, you'll find about 195 million results. The list can literally go on and on. So what is the one most important thing to do? The one thing that gives all those other things I just listed the best chance to work. In all the research studies looking at the mechanisms that support immune resilience, nothing impacts our immune function more than getting adequate amounts of quality sleep. No supplement we can buy, no diet and no other lifestyle strategy. Nothing beats good quality and quantity of sleep. So my fascination with the inner workings of sleep goes back over 30 years to my 10th grade high school biology class. That's when I chose a topic for my research paper. And the topic I chose was on the rapid eye movements in healthy sleep. Even then I was fascinated about the neurology of sleep and how it worked and how it affected our health. It wasn't until the last 10 years that I really dove deep into understanding the brain waves, the neurotransmitters and the hormones, and the neurology of sleep, and how sleep is disrupted with brain injuries and dizziness and in chronic pain. In fact, it's interesting to me that in my practice, I see patients who will suffer for days or weeks or even months with chronic back or neck pain or even headaches or neuropathy, and they don't become highly motivated to seek care for their problem until it disrupts their sleep. Now, I have a few more questions for you to consider to see if you have a problem with sleep that could be impacting your immune system. Those with chronic sleep problems that I've treated in the past identify with at least one of the following questions. Do any of these describe you? Question one, I have difficulty falling asleep. Question two, I wake up multiple times during the night. Question three, I do not wake up feeling refreshed even after sleeping. Eight hours. So it may seem obvious, but sleep is a foundation of our energy system. Without adequate sleep, both quantity and quality, we not only think more slowly, but we also have less self-discipline, we have increased food cravings, and our immune system isn't as good. Maybe even affects our ability to uh, make good decisions. Think about it. When do your healthy habits usually fall by the wayside? That's right, in the evening when we're more tired. Research shows that as adults, we should spend about one third of our lives sleeping. Of course, kids and growing teenagers need more. It may surprise you, but my blueprint for preparation for a good night's sleep starts in the morning. Now, the reason for this is our circadian rhythms that control our sleep-wake cycles are heavily influenced by three factors. First, our physical activity. Second, our exposure to light. And third, the rise and fall of hormones such as cortisol and melatonin and adrenaline, which are affected by our blood sugar and stress levels. So let me share with you the best way to get to sleep. It's to go to bed tired. When I say tired, I mean physically tired, not just mentally tired. 
Most of us have no problem being mentally tired at the end of the day, but making sure we are physically tired means that we need to get our heart rate up and actually exert our large muscles to the point that we get a little sweaty. That means you need to get up in the morning and do some exercise before you go to work. For some of you, that means taking 30 minutes to exercise at lunch, and for others, that may mean exercising after you get off work. Whatever works best for you is fine, just get moving. I do need to offer one word of caution from my own experience. If you plan to go to bed at 10.30, don't do your intense exercise from nine to 10. I found that if I play basketball or swim too late at night, it gets me too revved up to be able to calm down enough to get to bed at a decent hour. Now, another thing to remember is to make sure you get at least 10 minutes or more of sunlight exposure in the morning and maybe another 10 minutes or so in the middle of the day. This light will send a signal through your eyes directly back deep into your brain to where the master clock region of your brain is. It's called the suprachiasmatic nucleus for the neurology nerds out there. But this is an area that controls your sleep-wake cycles and all your other circadian rhythms. And it also affects the ability of your brain to secrete melatonin, which is secreted by the pineal gland, which affects all our organs and tissues throughout our body to prepare for and to stay asleep. If you know you need to improve your sleep, I'd like to give you a challenge. First, find out your baseline sleep patterns. Google the term sleep diary and then click on the National Sleep Foundation site. They have a great little worksheet that you can print off and track what time you wake up and go to sleep each day and how well you sleep for two weeks. If you give it some attention and add in some good sleep habits, then I have no doubt that you can improve your sleep and thereby improve your energy. This will allow your immune system to fight infection and heal tissue damage that occurs every day. And if you have an injury, then you can recover quickly from that as well. I have prepared a handout entitled Seven Tips to Sleep Like a Pro. And if I can make it work, I'll include a download link below. Uh, remember, the immune system consumes an enormous amount of energy when we're sick. And it takes a bunch of energy to create millions of immune cells to fight the pathogens that make it into our bodies each day. So we need to get enough good quality sleep to give our immune systems a chance to win this battle. Well, I wanted to keep this video under 10 minutes, so I need to sign off as I'm sure you wanted to get out and get some exercise or get in the sun right now. So get to it. Let me know if you're interested and I'll be glad to do a full webinar or in-office workshop and answer your questions and more tricks and share with you tips about how to get your brain regulated so you can sleep better. Oh, and keep an eye out for my next video where I'll reveal the most powerful antioxidant made in your body that supports detoxification and protects your mitochondria and DNA against damage from things like heavy metals, environmental and chemical toxins, and free radicals. So this is Dr. Jason Smith. Thanks for watching. I challenge you to get a good night's rest tonight.